But there's also this bad boy. This one was funny. I think this one was really funny. Because there was like a... Um, I, I, I didn't watch a lot of UFA. All I know is I watched like the end. I watched Tiger Pop Zondo play. And I watched like top top six or something. This was funny. It started off with this post by Salty EU or whatever. And uh, and they're talking about dual mains, right? And then Marvello retweeted. He deleted his tweet, so I can't pull it up. But he basically was like, this is a lie. There were only two slayers at the event. And like he was saying like people were spreading propaganda. Then someone fact-checked Marvello, and there was four or five solo slayers. The rest of them were dual mains. <laughs> And by dual mains, they played Slayer for more than 50% of the tourney. Um, and which is funny because I think ABBA is both for Tiger Pop and Razo, which I don't think I saw Razo play too much ABBA. Um, or I don't think she played too much ABBA. And you know, no, Marvel is not on Slayer. He didn't go to this event. But, like, he is a Slayer player, so, like, obviously the downplay has to come. Um, but, uh, yeah, there was, like, four or five solo Slayers, and there was, the rest of them were duo mains. And, like, Varix was, Varix was playing Slayer, like, duo main, and he played on more than 50% of the tourney. And then, like, so was Razo. Razo was the duo main Slayer um, that was playing them for most of the tourney. So, I just thought it was funny. This was this was really funny. Um, and this is insane numbers, by the way. Nine? Nine? That's crazy. That's crazy. That's why I'm saying, like, what, what, was, cr what, what was worse? Launch Happy Chaos? Launch Soul? Or, or Launch Slayer? I, I honestly don't know. Um, if I had a guess, it's probably a happy chaos because of how... Unless you were playing against Umi Show or Romola or Gobo, and Gobo only for like a month, you probably didn't play against the craziest... You probably didn't even play against the craziest happy chaos players. Like, not a lot of people could play HC to its max potential. It's... Season 1 positive bonus. I mean, I I think, like, mentally playing against that character was really hard. I'm not gonna lie. I remember just, like, getting angry sitting across the screen. I don't think that's gonna be a thing, but I also think Slayer is... Okay, so, like... Here, here, I think here is the issue with Slayer. I don't think Slayer is the best character in the game. I don't. I thought HC and Soul are definitely the best characters in the game. I think Slayer is probably somewhere in the top 10. I don't know where. I don't really care. Um, but I do think he has like some of the most polarizing offense. And it's very easy to do. Like At least with HC... You had to know how to do guard crush loops. And not anyone could just pick up HC and just start guard crush looping. It took time. It took a lot of practice. It was easy to fuck up. And like, yeah, once you got it down, you were basically unbeatable. But until then, there was a lot, a lot of room to work with against bad Happy Chaos players. Um... I think you could accidentally win with Slayer, even though he's not the best character. And I think it, it's like really kind of slows shows. He had Garshu. Yeah, I mean, technically Gobo. Gobo was doing them first. Gobo was doing them like day two, the Garkurse loops. Yeah, I think that's the problem. I think the skill floor, it's like getting access to how Slayer wins the game is so easy. Because all that needs to happen is you need to, like, randomly take a hit, 
And again, like, it's not hard to randomly take a hit against Slayer. You're just standing full screen. You don't check Mop a Punch. He's in on you plus three, or, you know, he hits you, now you're knocked down. He okies you with plus 26 Master Hammer, left, right, 90%, right? Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure most people could learn that in like a week, maybe less. Um, and I think that's where it gets like really egregious. And like, again, like, it's one of those things where like strive, quote unquote, baby game, right? But like, once one just grab master hammer i mean that's the thing right it's like oh there's so much counterplay but does the counterplay really matter if you counterplay it five times and you get hit by it once and you die and you can make the argument that's against every character right you don't check nago beyblade every time or you check it and he dps you you're dead blah 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 blah, blah. but i think it's the ease of access and the crazy risk reward like at least with you know nago or testament or bridget or milia you know the characters kind of have to put themselves out there i think just the insane health pool insane damage output and just like the ease of execution like like you could be the but you could be jack you block plus 26 Master Hammer into left, right, 90%, like, you're going to lose. It just it just matters, like, if you get hit by, like, if you just randomly get put in that situation. Um, so I, th I think that's just, like, the biggest thing. I think he just has way too much health to work with and way too much damage, and his ease of winning is just too high. Um, that he just gets multiple chances to put you in a bad situation, no matter how interactable his offense is. It's like it's like if you gave Potemkin multiple chances to get in. That's kind of Slayer. It's like if, if Potemkin and Go Lewis had multiple chances to get in on you, they're eventually going to win the game. Like if you gave Pot like three, four more chances per round to get in on you, he's He'll probably win more more than he does right now, for sure. But the fact that he doesn't right now, his mirrorless damage does shit on pot though. Yeah. Um, and yeah, being I think I think Abba is pretty close to being in the Slayer spot too. I think it's like a season three character problem or yeah, season three. Um, I think I think L felt falls into here also but she just doesn't have the health pool um but i think abba is probably the closest to slayer if abba didn't have the amount of bad matchup she has i think she'd be as brain dead to win with as slayer um the fact that you could just accidentally win on abba too like someone leaves a four frame gap in between pressure you mash out you pop blood, you pop gauge. It's it's game's over. Uh, <laughs> I think uh, I think they're silly designs. Um, and as much as I love Ava, I th I think she's if if Ava didn't have normal mode and the crazy amount of bad matchups, she she'd be up there with Slayer and like we'd probably see Abba's at like eight, seven, six. I think. Um, but I think you know that's that's where you see. Because I, I just think the design of Season 3 characters are a little silly, personally. They give them, like, unreactable offense combined with, like, a bunch of fucking damage into you fucking die. Into, like, eat this Oki that's plus a million for no reason. Um, so, yeah. I, I don't think Slayer's broken, though. I don't think he's the best character in the game. Uh... He definitely needs to be changed in some way, though. Um, I don't think he's the best character in the game, though. I think, I think that. So, are we getting dizzy again? We're getting dizzy. Uh, Tokyo Game Show is next week, the twenty fifth. So that's probably gonna be the trailer for Dizzy. Um, yeah, I don't think Slayer is broken. I just think he's crazy in a tournament setting and um, definitely could rob and. People 
even if they know the counterplay, are still losing accidentally to him. And there's probably a crazy skill gap. Or I, I, I do think, you know, people are getting away with murder on Slayer. I think there's a lot of... I, 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 I don't... Whenever I see Slayers play, I question life sometimes. <laughs> Let's just say that. Because a lot of the stuff is silly, right? Like, um, uh, Home Depot posted something, and I don't, I don't blame him for saying this because it's perfectly reasonable. Um, he posted on Tickle Me's comment. He was like, um, he was like, um, mop a P into two H is a is a spacing trap. And then I looked at the video and I was like, oh, let me see, just so I know what it is. Um, um, and then I see the Slayer whiffed mop a P and I'm like, is it still a spacing trap on whiff? And I was actually curious and no, you didn't even see a whiffed. And I was like, that's crazy because <laughs> he mashed on whiff. He didn't mash on hit. And I was like, he still got counter hit for that. <laughs> and I'm just like that's and that's what I'm saying like you could accidentally win like you could be right versus Slayer sometimes and you know what you just get counter hit and you die it's one of those characters or the same thing with ABBA too like I think the ABBA design is silly like oh ABBA just guessed right once on you she had 50 bar now she has 75 now you're dead it's just like that's not cool um Uh, wins round. Slayers are currently suboptimal and still win. Yeah, hundred percent are suboptimal and still win. Um, and that's the thing. It's like once, once, once people get really, really good with Slayer, like what's gonna happen, right? Like, are we just gonna have to take two H into death every time? Like, <laughs> those spacing traps are gonna be a lot more scary, and like it's gonna be one of those things where it's like. How many knowledge checks am I going to have to take before I could play my game? <laughs>